Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Salami and today we're doing something slightly different in the way of a getting started guide or beginner's guide to Steam Deck in 2024. So if you're a prime Steam Deck user, this video may not have anything for you, but you might be not using some of these applications that I'm using, or you might get some ideas, or if you've got other ones that I should be using, please in the comments below, drop me what apps you have that are must-haves on your Steam Deck. Uh, for me, I'm keeping this pr this video pretty simple because it is for beginners, um, but there is a few in here that you may not use them all the time, but when you want them, they're already there, ready to go. Um, one big one I'm missing from this video is Cryo Utilities. I'll leave a link to the YouTube in the comments or in the uh, description. I just don't want to have that in here because that one is very is, a, is slightly more harder to sell because it is requires a little bit more work and it doesn't always do uh it's not always required but sometimes is and sometimes isn't uh prime example would be new world that game made or break new world months a few months ago i don't know whether cryo utilities are still needed now but it was a recommended program uh, earlier on in its life cycle so without further ado we're going to jump in and it's going to be pretty straightforward i will try and put timestamps. if i don't tell me off in the comments below and um, let's jump into it right now it's pretty straightforward it's just for better wi-fi this is not needed if you're on oled basically you want to go into uh system turn on developer mode and then scroll down to the bottom here and then turn off wi-fi management um, and this will just speed up your wi-fi next up is you're going to head over to desktop mode by pushing the steam button clicking on power and then heading over to desktop this is what it's going to look like when you first go to desktop mode on your fresh steam deck and the first thing you want to do is go to discover store and download some stuff the first thing you're going to want is to get a internet explorer by default they want you to use firefox here but most of us don't use that we would use chrome so you can just click on internet and then go to web browsers and download whatever one you want or of course you could search for it but like most of us you'll probably just download chrome and you'll be i will be showing you how to add chrome to your uh nested desktop for later on so you'll have easy access to it and some other stuff so let this download and then we're going to get some other stuff once this is done next up after that is we're going to download a app called heroic now heroic is great it allows us to expand our games library on our steam deck including our epic games library our prime amazon prime and our gog so i highly recommend heroic um, at some point this is going to be changing because the guys behind Heroic and the Proton GE are going to be combining all the efforts and Lutris as well. So at some point this is going to change but for now make sure you download Heroic and then we will go through the setup afterwards. The next one we're going to go download is Proton Up QT. Um, this is another worthwhile one as this allows us to install um, Proton other proton layers including like i was just saying proton um, ge which is just a different layer that the community makes um, and some games just work better on um, q uh, on on the ge egg roll layer as it's so called so proton up qt is worth a download just to allow you get into different proton layers and we've got one more here that we also want to download, which is Proton Tricks, as you can see here. So Proton Tricks uh, allows us to install executables in our Proton games. Um, so mods and things like that. So again, both of these won't be used all the time, but they're worth having. And the other thing that also helps with Proton Tricks is it will allow us to install certain sometimes uh, in some of my other videos you'll see that you need certain files that don't come in base protons um, and that just helps ideally 
Okay, you see we've got Chrome installed now. I won't sign in, I'll do that later. And the first thing we want to do once we've got our Internet Explorer up and running is head over to Google Deki. Um, Deki is a add-on for uh, game mode Steam Deck. And um, once we've downloaded it, we'll jump back into game mode and I'll show you what it does. Um, I find Deki Loader to be absolutely essential, especially if you're using things like Bluetooth headphones or if you're not going into desktop mode all that often, it allows you to update um, the flat packs for desktop mode in the background without actually having to go into desktop mode. Um, so you just need to download it from the website. I'll have it in the description below. Just copy it to your desktop and then you just want to continue and just let it do its thing. Yes. Once we've done okay on that, let this do its install and then we are done with Deki Loader and we'll come back to that at the end of the video in game mode and show it off a little bit. All right, let's get um, installing some stuff. Jumping back over to Heroic, it'll be in your um, main, in your games file. So if you go to the bottom left where the little deck icon is, go to there and then go to games, you should see Heroic. And my recommendation is to install it, uh, log in from the desktop mode so it's all done. As you can see here, uh, you get a ton more games um, that you've probably been getting for free through Epic or that you've got through um, GOG for free, or you've may have bought some games through GOG, but now you've got a ton more to your um, Steam library that you can get to pretty easily. A few things you wanna do here, you just wanna head over to settings, and you can change your themes to different ones. There's some cool ones. I quite like the cyberspace one here. Um, and just you can just leave a lot of these destinations as is. You shouldn't really need to touch any of these. Um, once you've done that, there shouldn't be too much else. Scroll on down. Automatic um, add to Steam, update games. I mean, you don't need to have that on, but I do. Um, and then you can automatically add games to Steam. I find this option doesn't really work, but it might work for you. Here I'm just adding um, both of the programs to the desktop, including Proton Up QT and Proton Tricks, and then updating Proton QT up with the latest version of GE. Um, Proton Tricks won't work out the back because we haven't got any in games installed yet, which you'll see here will come up saying error, there's no games. And once you start generating games, if you download games from Steam, it'll start giving you a list and you'll be able to start adding, you know, installing EXEs through them that way. Um, so yeah, best to just keep these on the desktop and then they're ready to go for whenever you need them, okay? Um, and also you'd probably wanna add Heroic to your Steam library and to do that, go back up into the um, games from the start menu, right click, we'll pull the left trigger and then add to Steam on Heroic, and then that'll be in your Steam library, giving you quick, easy access to your Heroic games from within uh, Steam game mode. As you see here, I'm just downloading the latest version of Proton GE. That'll take a while to download, and then once that's done, um, you'll have, when you force compatibility in um, Steam, uh, the GE Proton 9 or whatever the latest version is, okay? So that is that, very straightforward. Let's move on. The next app here is only if you've got a PS4 or PS5 and you wanna stream it to your Steam Deck. Um, so if you're not doing either of that, then you can easily just uh, skip this step or um, finish up there. Um, you're looking for a certain app that goes by the name of um, Checky for Deck and um, it makes streaming PlayStation to your Steam Deck really easy and it looks really good. 
and then it will go under your games as well and you can load it up and add it to your steam library so you can load it from within game mode as you can see it already sees my ps5 which is really cool i haven't even um, set it up and it already knows there's one on the network so you just go through the settings set it up and it's it's really basic you just go into the ps4 or 5 and then you um, put in a code and then once it does that then you're away laughing easy as that uh, and we're done and the last thing we're going to add here is the nested desktop for steam um, so this just means you can get to this without having to push the power go down to power and then switch to desktop nested just lets you jump straight in to um, the desktop mode without actually having to you know switch completely out um, if you're looking for it I just go to all applications and then scroll down to N and then add to Steam and there you go you've got nested desktop and now you can easily access the desktop mode from within game mode here we are back in desktop mode and Deki has in, been installed. Um, as you can see here, I'm already playing around with it with the video thing. But uh, up the top there, you'll see the little um, shop icon where you can download all the different apps. And we'll jump in here. I'm not going to download any more, but you can have a real good search through and see if there's any here that you think are necessary. Um, there's some really interesting ones there for tinkering with the Steam Deck, but I'm not that tinkery. So we've got Decky Recorder, which is what you see is what you get. Auto flat packs was what I was talking about with it auto updating your flat packs for um, desktop mode or within game mode. As you can see, it's updating Chrome from here. So that's quite a good one to have. Uh, Bluetooth, um, I find really useful to reconnecting my AirPods and Steam Grid DB. So all those things we've added to Steam like um, Nested Desktop, Heroic Launcher, Checky for, for Deck. Um, it just gives you the images as you can see I've already done it. And in the Steam OS for the Nested Desktop. Uh, so that is my guide.